Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a Kmart shot with me, which is one of my favorite videos to film. I've seen that they have some new stuff, or semi new by this point I guess, and I just wanted to come and check it out. There are some things that I genuinely do need to get, so of course I have a list with me, but I won't be surprised if I come out with a few other things as well. But I'm just gonna take you guys along with me. So. Let's go see what they have. The organization stuff is always a favorite for me. I have these little guys. I think they're the smallest size. I can't get it out, but I have these in my bathroom drawers to help me organize it, and they are so helpful. And only $2. look so cozy oh they're not as soft as i thought this one is perfect for winter this matching set looks really cute as well they have it in purple like a purpley pinky lilac color but i think the tan kind of color is so cute i'm in the like craft section now and they have some really cool stuff like how cool is this i feel like these you could make some really cool diys with like paint them and then put them up on your wall super rent friendly as well wow vinyl that's supposed to make it look like a basket i'm also going to do some of this as a voiceover just because it'll make it easier for you to actually hear me i'm loving this rattan furniture is that how you say it rattan rattan furniture that they have going on as well as these wall dividers super cute i'm not obsessed with any of their pillows at the moment but thought i'd show you anyway guys you have to get your hands on this ribbed t-shirt this is what it's called i have it in black and white and wear it to work all the time and it's like six or eight dollars these pants look super cute like wide leg but then they've got the denim belt around them as well this is super cute that would be such a nice beach bag only $15. I also thought it would be fun to have a bit of a book recommendation section of books that I've read that you can get from Kmart. One that I recently read was Nine Perfect Strangers and Big Little Lies, both by the same author. Loved both of those. Also loved One of Us is Next. I haven't read One of Us is Lying, but it's next in the series, so I would definitely recommend both of those. And of course, Looking for Alaska, just a staple. I thought I'd also show you some of my favorite stationery items that I saw because I'm obsessed, especially now that I work in a school. I love these gray lead pencils that have the minimal pastel detailing on them. I think they're really cute. Along with this lemon notebook, this whole wooden range, I, I love. I think it's so simple and minimal. And lastly, here are some really cute pastel kind of, not necessary, but could be really practical items that I would love. Back in the car, ready to go home and show you guys the cute stuff I found. I will say, I hope you guys enjoyed that footage because I literally just walked around Kmart looking like a crazy person talking to myself all alone. So, that was fun. I'm home now and I'm ready to show you guys what I picked up from Kmart. I've actually had all of this stuff for a few days now, so I've been able to try some of the things. Which I think is actually better because I can tell you if they're worth it or not. The first thing that I have is this mug. And it is dirty because I just drank my coffee out of it. But I really love this range they have. This is a huge mug. Like, it is a big boy. But I love this range of dinnerware that they have. I have a platter from the same range, a bowl. I would like to pick up a few more things to have a bit more of a matching set. But I think it's called, like, the Irregular White range. Maybe the Speckled. I'm not really too sure. But they have mugs, plates, bowls, those, like, kind of shallow bowls, which I would love to pick up a few of those, platters, all sorts of stuff. But I love the kind of character that it has and you just can't go wrong with a big mug. I picked up these travel bottles. These are 100 milliliters each, made from silicone. And I think these were about $6. I don't know if I have my receipt. And I got these because Georgia and I were going on a trip and I didn't want to take my huge function of beauty bottles. So I just took these little ones and I love these. Like I would really, really recommend these. I'm sure you can get them from many other places, not just Kmart. But I don't know, they work really, really well. And of course you can just reuse them over and over and over again. And now as restrictions are lifting and we can start actually going places and going on little trips, even if they're not big ones, these will be really handy to have. Another thing I got is this clip. It's called a claw grip. And I think this is the biggest size that it comes in. I've seen a lot of girls wearing these recently and they look so good in them. I got the biggest size because I have 
semi-long hair. Like, obviously, it's not the longest hair ever, but it's not very short. So I thought I might need one of the bigger clips. I don't think it looks very good on me. I haven't found a way that makes it look very nice on me. It's just good for when I'm at home or if I'm sitting in front of my computer for a long time and just want to chuck my hair up. But it's especially good because it doesn't leave any kinks or bumps in my hair, whereas tying my hair up with a hair tie would give me that. So really like this but definitely doesn't look as cute on me as it does on the girls that i saw on pinterest so maybe i'll be able to figure it out this is really boring but we just needed to get a new dustpan and brush ours has literally disappeared i don't know where it is and i've been decluttering the whole house and i still haven't found it so i feel like i think i remember where it is of course i would of course i would go out and buy a new one and then i remember where it is i'm not certain but there's like one place that i haven't decluttered yet and that could totally be where it is anyway i guess now we have two maybe i can just keep this for when liam and i get our own place this one is definitely a bit more of a fun one but i got these pouring paints and i just thought these looked so fun so if you guys can see the pictures on the back it's just where you put them in a cup and then you tip it over and make those cool designs that people make with all these pouring paints. I've never tried it before, so I have no idea if it's going to be as easy as people make it look or if it'll even look good at all, but I love craft and things like this. So I guess I'll let you guys know. I'll try and vlog it when I do it to show you guys what it ends up looking like. I think they have another set of colors as well, but these ones were definitely more up my alley. I also picked up this scarf. I just wanted a couple more scarves for work because it is freezing. And I thought this one would just be really handy to have because it's just this dark brown, which will go with anything and everything. And it's not scratchy or anything, so... I feel like this will look really cute as well as just be really practical. And this was $7. Oh, it says it's a men's scarf. I found this in the pajama section, like the women's pajama section, which is so random. No, I love that. And I definitely don't think it just needs to be a men's scarf. Obviously it can be for whoever. This is another one that's a bit boring, but really useful. It's just this glass container. But the reason why I wanted it is because it has this little clip i guess what would you call that that little clip that means you can put it in the microwave and you can leave the lid on and i just got this for work because i don't have any containers like this so if i want to heat my lunch up at work i just wanted something that had a clip on it so i don't make a mess i also picked up these little glass screen protectors for my apple watch and i don't know if i just did it wrong but i tried putting it on mine and it was useless my apple watch just got really confused and it thought that i was touching it when it was the screen protector touching it and it kind of just spazzed out so i probably wouldn't recommend these if you guys have had a really good experience with these let me know because i would love to have a screen protector on my apple watch because i'm the clumsiest person but that just did not work for me and i followed the directions exactly like cleaned it properly and did all the things that it asked me to do but it just did not work and the last things i have are just some stationary pieces so firstly i picked up this binder it's a really pale pink color. It's just a two ring binder and I got this for all of our wedding documents I have found wedding planning to be a little bit overwhelming because there's so many small details that go into One main event and you're dealing with so many different vendors and so many different details and receipts and contracts and all sorts of things So I just thought it would be handy to be able to print all of those things out and have them in a binder I also thought it would be useful to have this with me on the wedding day so that I have all of my information on me so if anyone needs any information from me, needs to check a receipt, needs to check a phone number, anything like that, it's all in here because currently all of that stuff is just on my laptop and I don't think I'll be having my laptop with me on my wedding day. At least that's not my plan. So if I have this, anyone can search through and find what they need to find if they need to find something and they don't always have to come to me to ask me the questions and hopefully I won't be stressed. So that's kind of the idea. Obviously it has nothing in it right now, but once I have like fully organized it or maybe even after the wedding I could go through this with you guys and tell you what was useful and what didn't really need to be in there to maybe help you guys out. I also picked up some more sticky notes. I have just been using these a lot recently. Kmart sell them really cheap. Sticky notes can be hella expensive if you go to office works and stuff and get like the name brands which I don't really understand because they're literally sticky pieces of paper. What are these? 400 sheets and I think this was like two dollars so very good. A holy grail for me in my scrapbooking and my art journaling is these 
these glue tape dispensers. There's a few different names that people use for them. I usually just call them like glue tape and I think that's, yeah, that's what this one is called from Kmart. Pretty sure this is $2 and a lot of the other ones that I've been able to find at Officeworks or other craft stores are at least $5, I think. And I just haven't seen any significant difference in those ones compared to this one. So I feel like it's worth saving some money, especially because I go through them pretty quick so I do not want to be spending five dollars every couple weeks when I could be spending two and the last thing that I picked up which I'm really excited about is this and this is a bullet journal from Kmart I don't know how long they've been selling bullet journals for I feel like this is a fairly new edition because I, I just feel like I would have noticed it earlier but I found this one and I actually later found a gray one at a different Kmart that I went to so if you guys want the gray one that was really cute too I just didn't see the gray one by the time I found this one. Bullet journals can be ridiculously expensive. I'm not exactly sure why, but I would say I've never bought one that's cheaper than $20 before. I'm sure you probably could find ones cheaper than that, but for them to be accessible, I feel like, yeah, the cheapest one I found is about $19.95 from Officeworks, and before that I paid upwards of $30 online, and then additional shipping as well. So $4, that is insane. I will say, this is not a hard-covered notebook, so obviously that could be a reason why it's cheaper. And I will also say, the dots don't line up on every page. Like, just say you open up to a page, a double spread, the dots on this page won't line up exactly with the dots on this page. So if you're doing a spread that covers both pages, it can look a little bit wonky, I guess, because I have started using this and I figured that out. To me, it's not a huge problem, but I thought I would let you guys know if you're like super particular with your bullet journals, but for $4, you just can't expect anything more than that. That is just crazy in the bullet journal world. I also think that would be a great option if you wanna try out bullet journaling, but you're not sure if it's for you, so you don't wanna invest a lot of money into it in case you don't end up liking it so I definitely recommend that as well but that is everything that I picked up I hope you guys enjoyed this Kmart shop with me video and haul I always love filming these for you guys and if you want to see more of these in the future make sure you let me know but other than that I guess I'll see you guys in my next video very soon goodbye